Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy to have you here today for a new video. We are going to be kicking off a weekly vlog, so taking you through everything I get into over the next week. Um, today is Sunday. I am about to go head out to the farmer's market and the gym, but just wanted to pop in, obviously, and intro the video. Um, I also wanted to open up this package that arrived yesterday, and I figured I would wait to open it. Um, it's from the brand Lively Ghosts. I will link them down below. But I found this shop um, through TikTok, not TikTok shop, which is, I guess, like a new feature thing, but through a uh, user on TikTok. Um, I think that their username is called Fall State of Mine. Um, and they always like have popped up on my free page with like these really cute and like cozy fall like baking videos. And I've seen these little like jack-o'-lantern spoons um, in their videos and I just thought they were so cute. So I got them, came with a little sticker and then the little card um, with a code for my next purchase. And then, so cool, it says Haunted Hallows Pumpkin Teaspoon Created by Lively Ghosts. And they're little spoons that are like jack-o'-lanterns. And they're like so cool on the handle part. That's what they look like. They're very intricate. Um, and it came in a set of two. Gold probably wouldn't have been my first choice. I really wanted to get the black ones. But I guess they had just sold out like before I purchased them because I was reading in like um the brand's instagram comments and i saw like other people asking about the black ones and they said that they had just sold out and they were responding like the day or something i was ordering so um maybe i'll have to use that code uh, and check when they come back in stock but i just thought they were super cute and it came in a set of two like i said so i'll link these down below if you are also gonna start to get into the spooky spirit even though it's just crazy because it's about to be august today's the 20 today's the 30th um and august is in obviously like two days but i'm already just feeling fall looming even though it's so hot here right now because mostly just because of disneyland's like fall schedule because that starts on september 1st um which like as it should for you know the rest of the world it's just like funny or i guess for the rest of you know most of the united states but it's just funny because here it's obviously still so hot in september so anyway these are my spoons i really like them they're super cute um so i'm glad i opened that up and let's go get ready to head out uh to go to the gym and the farmer's market now back home from the farmer's market and the gym i just got some blue oats from Arnett Farms. They're my favorite and I just made this Four Sigmatic Boba and now it's time to get started with getting some work done. So I got my TikToks edited, got vacuuming done here and we made a run to Trader Joe's and Pavilions. So here's everything I got. Not too much because we have Green Chef planned out for the week and we planned out all our dinners. Um, for breakfast I usually have a protein smoothie so I needed more bananas and then earlier I got those blue oats at the farmer's market I usually have those like right when I get up um and then I'll have the protein smoothie like after I work out or take a walk or something um for my coffee that's our favorite creamer and then just like for some lunch options these are like two of my favorite things to just have in the freezer freezer <laughs> and in the fridge um because I can just like eat them whenever. We are gonna have pasta one night and I really like this one, um, this red lentil pasta from Trader Joe's. Um, also got some mushrooms because I have my favorite vegan um, dumplings in the freezer. So I'll probably have that for lunch and I already have some broccoli. So 
I usually like to roast up mushrooms and broccoli together and then I'll cook enough rice um, for two meals and then I'll just like fresh cook the dumplings. Love having sesame oil to cook um, anything like fried rice or when I do like stir fry type things, um, just like adds a little bit more flavor. And then this is new, which I'm excited about. Um, they're vegan vanilla ice cream. So that's great because I love doing affogados. If I want like a little something sweet in the afternoon and also something like a little bit of a pick me up, it's just um, normally a shot of espresso, but I do a shot basically i'm like laughing explaining this because it's very funny to me um a shot of my four sigmatic mushroom coffee i basically just like blend it with a little bit of hot water um with my like hand frother and then just pour it over like a scoop of vanilla ice cream it's really good um so yeah that's everything that i got at the store i'm gonna put this stuff away we also got like paper towels and toilet paper um and everything else bill got and yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away. And then I do wanna take a bath. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go in the pool. No one's in there right now, but I feel like I might just end up just getting in the bath and taking a shower instead of skipping the pool today. Yes, we did go to the grocery store today just to get dinner out, but I got sweet green, I got a shrew mommy, um, and I added in some sweet potatoes. And then I also added in these little like wonton crisps that Bill got today and um, some vegan feta from BioLife. And yeah, that's gonna be dinner. And I'm finishing up drying my hair right now. Very exciting stuff over here. Good morning, happy Monday. It is 10.20 right now and I've been up for a bit getting some work done. Um, I had a pluot and a uh, peanut butter and jelly toast with some banana on top and an iced Four Sigmatic coffee, nothing special, but had that stuff for breakfast and I'm about to paint my nails. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this color from Olive in June. It's the queen takes her tea with milk. It's just like a light neutral color. Um, and I'm just getting some work done. I have two articles that I need to get done today and just like some planning and stuff because tomorrow is August 1st, which is crazy and that also means that it's been six years since I've lived in LA and five years for Bill. It also means that tomorrow is five years since we've moved into this apartment. Um, and yeah, so that's just really crazy, but I need to just like plan things out for this week and um, the start of a new month and everything. So I'm gonna keep going with my work and get my nails painted. It is 3.20, which is my slump time of the day. And usually I don't wanna drink like a whole other coffee, but usually at this time I need a little bit of caffeine and I want a little something sweet. So this is my favorite way to have that. Um, so I'm gonna make an affogato, but vegan and with a mushroom coffee. And this is the uh, vegan vanilla ice cream that I got yesterday at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to scoop that. It's very hard because I just took it out of the freezer, but I like that much ice cream. And then I have a little bit of hot water and I'm going to use my favorite Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee and just spilled a little bit. Um, this is instant coffee, so it's really easy to prepare. Just pour it onto the hot water and then just froth it up. And then I just pour it right onto the ice cream. And it's so good. It's like the perfect sweet and like a bitterness of coffee. Um, I honestly don't think this is very bitter, but like when you're just drinking it like this and not, um, with like, you know, milk or water or anything like that, like however you make your coffee, it definitely has a little bit more of a bitter taste. Um, but it's really good with the ice cream because it like melts it and it's like creamy and it's super good. So let's try. This is probably not like the best representation of trying the ice cream just to see how it is, but ice cream is not as creamy as some other vegan vanillas I've tried. I could tell 
just like based on the texture when I was scooping it, it looked more like airy and icy than like creamy. Um, my favorite is the, I think it's So Delicious brand. I'll put a picture of it here, but it's like the So Delicious Cashew Vanilla Ice Cream. I really, really like that. And usually I get it at either Target or Ralph's or Whole Foods, usually one of those three places will have it if I need it. Um, so that's usually what I use, but this is cheaper and Trader Joe's hopefully will keep this around. So gonna enjoy this while I keep getting my work done. Just finished up dinner. We've got black beans and uh, onions and peppers. And I also put um, like a half a slice of chow cheese in each of these got a lime gonna put my favorite hot sauce on top this stuff is the best i found out about it through alfred because they have the packets there and then i have this which may not actually look so good um it's leftover from a green chef meal from a couple days ago but that's dinner and it's a working night um because I'm finishing up some work right now, so I'm gonna do that while I eat. It's Tuesday morning, I've been getting some work done and it just made a little bit of breakfast, some oatmeal with peanut butter and a oat on top, and then um, my iced Four Sigmatic Boba. Um, I am actually gonna try out streaming today on YouTube, which is new for me, never done that before, um, but I figured I would give it a try because I really love playing Dreamlight Valley, Animal Crossing, and I thought it would be fun. Um, and Bill is at a doctor's appointment right now, so I figured I would take advantage of the computer time and uh, be able to use it because he has like his whole setup, um, you know, on his desktop. So excited about that. So I'm gonna like take a few bites of this and then get started. He pulled everything up for me before he left, so that was very nice. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see how this goes. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm excited though. So let's go do that. So I just made some ravioli for lunch. This is from Trader Joe's. And I also just sauteed up those mushrooms I got on Sunday. Um, and I just put some of them in and then I'm gonna save the others for lunch for the rest of the week. Um, and then I basically just put butter and some vegan parm on top. But I think streaming went good. It was fun. I did it for like 50 minutes or so. Um, didn't have many viewers, but that's okay because obviously I'm just getting started and just want to think about, you know, where I'm at with things and when I want to do it again. So time to eat lunch. I am going to start working on a puzzle. Um, I've done this one before. I think I only have done it. Actually, I think I've done it twice. It's this Animal Crossing one that Bill got me, I don't know, probably two two years ago, almost three years ago. I don't remember exactly when, but sometime since playing Animal Crossing. Um, and puzzles are always very nice and relaxing and helps me to, you know, just like refocus my mind and not get stressed about stuff. Um, so I'm gonna work on this, probably gonna be, you know, a multi-day project. Um, and I just like sitting here and doing it and, you know, keeps me out on my phone. Sometimes I play like a podcast or something um, when I'm doing it, but yeah, I'm gonna sit here and work on this for a bit. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. I don't have that much work to do today because since it's the first of the month, all of my like, assignments and work and everything are pretty much done um and then I had all of my like analytics stuff that I do for my social client today so I did all that and then I did my stream obviously and like have just done like other random stuff um and like planning things but it hasn't been that much work to do today so I figured this would be a better use of my time than just like sitting around um and watching tv or something so I'm gonna try to do this for a little bit.
so it's been a great day so far today. I watered my plants, got some work done, um, just had like a nice morning at home. And then I headed over to Culver City where I am now to try out a new sauna place called Brightside. And they also do hot yoga. Um, and it was really nice. It's probably not my favorite compared to some of the other sauna places I've been to in the LA area, but it was still a good experience and it was a discounted rate because it was my first time because they just opened kind of recently. Um, and it's the same people who own Dry Bar and Squeeze Massage um, Studios, which I've never been to Squeeze before, but they have them around LA and maybe in other places as well. But yeah, so that's what I did. And then I went to the new Air One location that just opened up kind of recently. I don't remember when exactly in Culver City. Um, so I just went over there and got some buffalo cauliflower, which was delicious. And now I'm going to, I also got some like milk and that was that. Um, and now I'm gonna go head back towards home. I'm gonna go to Starbucks because on Wednesdays after 12 p.m. Starbucks does half off of uh, iced drinks. It's through the end of August. Um, this is I think the second week that they're doing it because it started the like last week in July. So I'm gonna go there. I have my laptop so I'm gonna get some work done for a little. I did this last Wednesday and it was a really nice um, just little activity and then I'll pick up whatever Bill wants as well. But let's go head towards Starbucks now just talked on the phone with my mom while I prepped our dinner for the night. We've got some rice with a stir fry situation with tofu, broccoli, edamame, pepper, and onions. And uh, it's a ginger peanut lime sauce. It's really good from Green Chef. Got some peanuts and sesame seeds and lime. And yeah, it's gonna be dinner. And then I think after this, we're gonna take a walk and watch some TV and call it a night. Starting off my day with a little breakfast, just some toast with butter and jelly and a pluot coffee. Um, I forgot that I was out of peanut butter. I need to go to Whole Foods and get more. Um, so I didn't want to make my oatmeal or uh, smoothie without it. So this is what we got for breakfast. Made my coffee. I also forgot that they were turning off the water this morning for like a plumbing issue in the building. So I like forgot to fill the Brita before they had to turn it off. So then there was like barely any water and like I had to use what I had in there for my coffee and whatever. Um, but thankfully it's back on again. So I am planning to hopefully, if not finish, make some more headway on my puzzle today. I've got the hardest sections left, the like green leaves and uh the sky so they're all like the same color i'm also going to stream today which is exciting um the i didn't play yesterday which is when the uh rewards from the first dream cycle dream snaps like cycle got delivered and um the voting period opened for the one that just ended and a new one was announced and all those things so I'm hopefully gonna be able to stream today, which is exciting. Um, so I can like reveal all that stuff. Um, so I'm excited about that. And what else do I have to do? I got some assignments for the month. So I was like organizing my calendar and stuff um, for that stuff. And I need to, I'll hopefully be able to get started on one of those today as well. Jenny's gonna come over later for dinner um and our weekly like dinner and movie night um and it's my turn to pick a movie i'm really excited so that's the plan so far for the day um yeah gonna get some work done on my puzzle and watch the sopranos while i do that thank you yeah, thank you have a great day you too i am determined to finish my puzzle today Maybe not today, actually, maybe tomorrow. Um, but I have like a little bit of blue and like all the green left to do. But I went and picked up my boba guys. It's delicious as always. It's my Friday treat. Um, and I ran to Whole Foods to just get some peanut butter. And um, 
that's what's going on today. Um, not much exciting stuff here, but this, and I do have some work to do. So I will get on that as well, but I'm like, wanna finish this because my like area that I sit to work is right, is like the chair right next to this. So when I'm sitting there trying to get work done, I just like keep looking over at my puzzle and I'm like, and I've been waiting for something. Um, one of my social, my social media client is opening a new location and like I basically had like a tentative hold for like this week that it was gonna happen this week and then it didn't. So now it's like going into next week and I just need to like figure out things with that with like my schedule because I had basically like not made any major plans for this week because I thought it was gonna happen this week and now it's probably gonna happen next week which means I need to like change things around that I had planned. So whatever, but I'm gonna try to get at least the sky stuff done. Maybe that'll be my, how I discipline myself from like just sitting here for hours is I'm gonna try to just get the sky done and then I'll get work done. And then I'll get back to the green. Um, later, I think we're gonna go to the movies and going, I need to heat up some lunch at some point soon, probably. Um, I'm gonna have some leftovers that I made yesterday, just some rice, uh, those roasted mushrooms I made earlier in the week and I made roasted broccoli and then I'll just cook up the dumplings um, that are really good. They're vegan like pork dumplings. Um, yeah, so that's my plan. So I'm gonna try to get to work on finishing this up. So first stop of the day is the gym, but I also need to go to the post office to drop something off and I need to go to Target to get deodorant. Um, I guess those are really the only places I need to go. I want to get a car wash, but um, tonight we're going to a show at the Hollywood Bowl and the like park and ride station is like gravelly, dusty. So I don't want to get the car wash and then go park it there. So I'll probably end up getting that tomorrow or like sometime early in the week, but that's not like a huge priority anyway. Um, so yeah, I guess really just target post office and the gym. So let's head out. I want to give a quick shout out to Bill for downloading Hello Kitty Island Adventure for me. It is so cute. He also, this is his iPad and he set it up with like the switch controller so I can play it like this. And it's so cute. It's like kind of like Animal Crossing. Um, it's very relaxing and it's been really fun. I started playing it yesterday and it's just so cute. And you like have different quests and Hello Kitty has like a cafe and who else is here? My Melody and um, other people. I'm still like looking for the other uh, people at the resort, but like there's My Melody's store and there's Hello Kitty's cafe and there's like a little clothing store and it's just so cute. So I've been enjoying playing this and it's very relaxing just playing this while I drink my boba. Wanted to quickly mention this new product from Coco Kind that they sent to me. Um, it comes out in a few days from when I'm recording this, but by the time the video goes up, it will be out. So I will link it down below. But this is their brand new serum, the Chlorophyll Discoloration Serum. It has alpha arbutin, which is good for um, uneven skin tone and reducing redness. And I've really been liking it. I've been using it for a couple days now. Um, mostly at night but I've also used it a couple times in the morning and I'm really liking this so far. Um, I've definitely noticed that I'm having some like spots start to appear on my skin I think from the sun even though I'm really good about wearing sunscreen um, but yeah I think that just comes with you know the sun and getting older. Um, so yeah I'm really enjoying this and I will link it down below so you can get some more info on it.
I wanted to pop in really quick and end off the video because I was way too tired last night to film anything when we got back home from the concert, but Bill and I had so, so much fun. Um, it was just so cool to see people who have performed in these roles in Disney animated movies like Susan Egan and Adasa and also people who have performed in various roles um, in stage performances for Disney and just to hear them sing and it was so fun um really great time it was also bill's first time at the hollywood bowl um this was my third time there so i had a really good time and we're actually going back next month for another um show that we're also excited about um but it was so much fun and then also like right before we headed out um i checked the mail and my pin came that I was waiting for like all week and I was so excited about. Um, so I filmed a little unboxing of that, of course, so you can see the whole thing on my um, YouTube shorts. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, we've got a couple of things planned for today, but I'm going to end off the video here. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Sorry it wasn't as interesting as maybe some other ones. Um, I feel like I definitely spent a lot of time at home uh, working on my puzzle, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, not every week is super busy and usually the first week of the month or like the first couple days of the month are just not as busy for me because I'm waiting on like assignments and I've done like a lot of stuff to prep for the beginning of the month. Um, so just usually not too busy, but like I said, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure you're subscribed down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye. Thank you.